The earthly life of Christ began in shadows. By the flickering of a candle flame in a rugged stable, the light of the world delivered himself into our darkness. In the shadows of ancient temples, we see him preaching, let there be light, and hope began to live where once only despair and night had ruled. In the shadows of an upper room, we see him experiencing betrayal, but teaching the world about forgiveness and servanthood. In the midnight of Gethsemane, we see Christ himself struggling as we do with the lengthening shadows of life, and still he teaches us about obedience and sacrifice. Past Pilate's court, we see Jesus walk through the valley of the shadow of death as he embraces the cross. Yet it is the silhouette of that same cross which, cast onto the sands of time, offers rest and shelter for those who are weary from the journey. In that sacred shadow, we discover our faith. It is there we develop our night vision, trusting God to be our guide. Shall we walk together for a while in the shadow of the cross? It will not be an easy sojourn, but we will not walk alone. As we confront the dark night of the soul, we can always find comfort in this, that wherever there are shadows, there is also light. Shadows, the place where light and darkness meet, where light is obstructed. The prophet Isaiah wrote, The people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the shadow of death, a light has dawned. And yet against the light of the manger, the shadow of a cross was already forming. The light was shining, but the darkness could not understand it the shadows began to gather. Jesus stood above Jerusalem. He saw a shadow of turning descending on the city and wept. As he entered her gates, the cheers of the people mingled with the jeers of his accusers. The man of sorrows looked deeper into the darkness and heard the hosannas quickly turning to cries of crucify.
shadows, the place where light and darkness meet, where light is obstructed. The prophet Isaiah wrote, the people living in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the shadow of death, a light has dawned. And yet against the light of the manger, the shadow of a cross was already forming. The light was shining, but the darkness could not understand it. The shadows began to gather. Jesus stood above Jerusalem. He saw a shadow of turning descending on the city and wept. As he entered her gates, the cheers of the people mingled with the jeers of his accusers. The man of sorrows looked deeper into the darkness and heard the hosannas quickly turning to cries of crucify.
Evening came, and the disciples gathered around their master for the Passover feast. While they were eating, Jesus made a startling revelation. I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. Each of them began to look at the other, and then within their own hearts. The shadow of betrayal swept through the room. Were they capable of such thing? Saddened, one by one, they questioned him, Lord, is it I? As Jesus broke the bread and poured the wine, the shadow of sacrifice weighed heavily upon his heart. He told them, This is my body, broken for you, and this is my blood, spilled for your sins. Eat, drink, and remember.
and they sang a hymn and went out. Darkness took its final hold on Judas as he left the upper room. That night in Gethsemane, Jesus, burdened with sorrow, prayed alone. The shadows continued to lengthen. In that place of solitude and solace, a place Jesus loved, Judas returned. He brought with him those to whom he had sold not only his teacher, but himself. The final affront came. He betrayed the Lord with a kiss, and the soldiers led Jesus away. Fleeing in fear, the disciples abandoned him, and he was left in the shadow of loneliness. Darkness reigned, and it was night. The soldiers bound Jesus and handed him over to Pilate. 
He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. Silent as a sheep before its shears, he stood in the shadow of suffering and said not a word. loved darkness rather than light, and in the shadow of the cross, light and darkness came face to face. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Grant us peace. On you 
The light of the world became obedient, even in the shadow of death. The sun hid its rays as the Father looked away, and darkness shrouded the earth. Creation groaned and wept as her creator died. <laughs> 